breaking Alabama officially investigating Doug Jones for election fraud. By conservativestamp.com, you've probably heard that a van full of illegal immigrants was apprehended at a polling location in Alabama casting fraudulent votes for Democrat Doug Jones or that blacks were being bussed in from other states to do the same. Maybe you heard about the town where Jones got more votes than there are registered voters, or even the piles of dead bodies that somehow voted for him. Maybe you noticed it was a little weird that black cops chose to harass whites on their way to polling stations, especially since more than 98% of blacks voted for Jones no matter which part of the drama unfolding around the Alabama special election to the Senate, you've heard it should be clear that the whole thing stinks to be uh, the high heaven. Fortunately, the Alabama Election Integrity Board, established in January after President Trump took office as part of his nationwide push for fair, transparent elections, has launched a full investigation into Doug Jones's very blatant attempts to steal the election from the man Alabamans actually want for the job. The Mobile Register reports. Election Integrity Board President Alan Cumberson says that there is sufficient evidence that there may have been wrongdoing and vows to get to the bottom of things. Cumberson said the allegations against Jones are deeply concerning and that if Jones tried to cheat, those fraudulent votes will be invalidated. More than one-third of Jones's votes have been called into question to date. This comes at a time when Democrats are desperately begging Republicans to hold up a vote on a tax bill until Jones can be sworn in because his vote is needed to stifle efforts to improve lives for millions of Americans. It's clear the Democrats are desperate. They need Jones to vote for their agenda. They cheated to get him in office. It seems pretty simple. Well, now that they're actually opening up an official investigation. That's right. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.